bring something back home to my home state, Mississippi. And you said, I think, after Beijing, where I think you were fifth, yeah. how hard that was to go home and tell everybody. How, how do you think this is going to be when you finally get home? Uh, I, just, I actually just came home. Um, they had me a homecoming celebration, so they were really excited about me bringing something home to them. Um, I know I was devastated in, in uh, 08, so um, I was redeeming myself for them. And um, it was a great honor for them to do the homecoming for me and everything they needed for, for support. And, and of course, it's bigger than, than just Mississippi. For the whole USA, you were the first female long jump champion since 88. And you're following in great footsteps, of course. So how does that feel? Uh, that's a great person to follow in the footsteps of. She's a, a great person on and off the track. So uh, I have no problem following the footsteps of her. Um, but I didn't know I made history until after events. But um, it's a great honor for me to be following in a great person's footsteps. And tell us a little bit about competing in London, because you won your medal on the night of two other USA gold medals, so it must have been pretty special there in the Olympic Stadium. Yeah, it was pretty special for Team USA. Um, we, at the actual day, we won the most medals, and um, Aries did a great job, and the other USA athletes did a great job getting medals, and it was just a great day for us. We were just trying to go for 30. We ended up with 29, which is... It was just real, still real good for us, but um, it was a special moment, and I was glad to be a part of that day. And now here in Stockholm, are you looking forward to competing? Really historic stadium, 100 years old, celebrating its centenary. Are you looking forward to that? Yes, I'm really looking forward to it. It's, um, this is probably my third time uh, competing here, so uh, I'm looking for a, a great competition. Um, and a, I heard they got 13 girls, so we're going to have a, a great competition, and uh, we're going to have to make some um, good jumps. Okay, we'll open the floor to questions. Yes. Yeah, we have read about you being a basketball player, then changing to athletics. When did you discover your talent? Did you try athletics when you were a kid also? And why did you make the move? Um, I did um, athletics when I was in 11th grade, so for y'all be around like um, 15 or 16. Um, and I kept trying, but my coach finally let me at least try because I was doing the 400 the, in the relays so he finally let me uh, try the long jump and um, I did it for two years and then I went to a community college and played basketball and after basketball my mom told me um, that to go back to athletics so I, that's how I got right back into it um, and I took a scholarship at Ole Miss. So that, then it was no question that you were a long <laughs> jumper from, from then on. Right. Once, you, I, once, once I went to Ole Miss it was a Done deal. I was a long jumper. You ever tried any other uh, jumping events like um, the I triple actually, jump? Or? I did the triple jump in college, and I also did the high jump. What's your marks? Uh, six two in the high jump, forty three five maybe in the triple jump. Any other questions? Yeah, the back there. So, uh, how how does it feel to to refocus after the Olympic Games? Is it hard or? How does it feel for you now? Uh, it's, it's, it's not hard to refocus. Um, this is this is what I do. This is what I love to do. So um, I just got, once I came home, I seen my family and I told them I'll be, right, be, I'll be back in like two and a half weeks. Um, but, you know, this is what I do and this is what I love to do. So this is my job and it's not hard to focus on it. Is there a question at the front here? Uh, <laughs> any others? Yeah. Do you think about the... Uh, this was your second Olympics. Do you think about your third and your fourth already now, or? Um, think about the third. Um, I have, I'm only 25, so I'm pretty still young, and I can still be able to do it real if I uh, just keep the same determination and keep the same keep grinding like I'm doing now. And uh, by the time uh, 2016 get here, make the team for real and try to uh, defend my title. You think about records also because the, uh, those course. are quite tough. In, of in course, <laughs> yeah. The, the record, long jump records are tough, um, but uh, I've been getting better each year. <clears throat> I jumped seven twenty this year, so next year's about seven thirty, and try to get better each year in, in order to get those records. Any further questions? No. Okay. Thank you, everybody.